What's going on Onshape users and potential users? Um, I sent a little survey to Onshape, said it was awesome. They said, hey, can you do a customer success video in the email? So this is my story. Um, I got into Onshape in 2016, I believe, as a contractor. Uh, in between then, I bounced between contractor and employee back and forth. Um, I will get into the transitions of Onshape with that stuff, which is pretty cool. But I got into it because I'm a creative person. I'm not organized and rev control and configuration management that was really appealing to me um, i worked on my personal computer and keeping track of revisions and files was a nightmare for me especially when i had clients that would ask questions six months later that i haven't been working on need to know what the latest was for the factory or whatever and digging through my computer um, so that's why i got into it i was skeptical of performance obviously um, i'm picking up a pizza so hang tight Good, how you doing? Thank you very much. No problem, have a good one. You too. Picking up pizza for dinner. So, um, yeah, I got in, I was nervous about the performance of it. Um, so that was my big question. I ended up buying a no-name brand computer off Newegg for 700 bucks with a great graphics card. That's really all you needed. And it has performed beautifully. Um, SolidWorks crash on you, you lose your work. Love the web browser, love wherever you leave off, you just X out, it's saved, it's great. The history is great. Um, the features are out of control. The, the level of progression from 2016 to where they're at now is absolutely insane. I've submitted half a dozen, dozen tickets and they've implemented, I think, every single one of them. They keep you up to date when they are implemented. Um, they tell you how to do things, if there's ways around it, or if you can do it, they, you already can do it and you just didn't know about it. Um, insanely responsive for that level. Um, you go to SolidWorks or some reseller, um, they're not helping you, especially if you don't have any ongoing maintenance package with them. Um, Onshape's been awesome in that regard. Um, came from SolidWorks. I quit using Solid. I did SolidWorks and Onshape from till 2016, 2018. 2018, I was strictly Onshape. I just loved it. I didn't even want to work in uh, SolidWorks, so I didn't take any clients that wanted that. Um, it wasn't really a problem. Um, never really ran into it. Um, great from a standpoint of like sharing with marketers. So, I mean, I was working with pretty small engineering teams. I was being hired because they didn't have a mechanical engineer. Um, in a lot of cases. So I haven't used a lot of the team multi, um, multi-person modeling or anything like that. But as far as like sh viewing and showing with marketers, they can actually open a web browser and spin a part around. Um, it's huge for communication for them to understand what's going on, especially being remote. And now remote's the big thing. So really huge there. I'm sure they're, they're killing it now because of that. Um, and just everything from the way they've redone assemblies, the way we've redone exploded views, um, everything is just really awesome. Um, I mean, you gotta try it. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna be maddening at first, like assemblies, it's just different. So you're not gonna get it, you're not gonna like it, but as soon as you start using it and getting it, you'll never wanna go back another way. It's just that much better. Um, so that's my on-shape story. I'm still using it. I've converted uh, a couple different companies to it at this point. Um, oh, what I was saying. So let's not, now I'm getting updates on my phone here. Um, I've bounced back and forth between contractor and free, or freelance contractor and employee, part-time employee a few times. And I've had some hand transitions and handoffs. And what's really cool is I have a folder structure in Onshape and it's literally, you give that folder to a new email address associated with it and they are now the owners of all those files. They control them. Um, I'm still able to help out. I can log in easy enough uh, wherever they're at to help out with transition. I did that a few times. It took over a several month period. Um, Onshape made that super seamless. There was no sending emails and zip files and none of that. Um, so the transitions from one project to the next or the next person, uh, whether you're a company and you're worried about employee turnover or a freelancer who has to get the project to a certain point and hand it off. Um, you can hand it off to the manufacturing teams. I haven't had a ton of success with manufacturing, wanting that type of package. They're kind of old school, the ones I work with. They want step files and drawings and PDFs, but it has that ability. Haven't used, utilized it a ton, 
but it's the future. It's coming on shape, baked it in. They're smart. They know it's coming. It's just going to be a matter of time. So I'm excited when manufacturers will pick that up as well. Um, but try it. They make it too, so easy, especially you can get on there for their free version. Um, you don't even have to, to pay for it. Name your part something weird if you're worried about uh, the privacy portion of it to get started. And then from there, pay for it. Um, so that's my Onshape story. Feel free to message me. Um, they can include my email. It's almeida, A-L-M-E-I-D-A dot Ryan, R-Y-A-N at gmail.com. If you have questions, feel free to email me. Uh, I am busy, but I will get back to you. And I hope this has been helpful. Have fun modeling.